Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Warcraft 3. I just had a shower. Uh, I'm all refreshed going into what might be the last mission. I, I'm kind of surprised it's happening so quick, but uh, here we are. The Last Guardian, two days later in a tranquil glade of Mount Hyjal. We have no time for this, Furion. What are we doing out here? Last night in a dream, a great raven spoke to me and summoned me to this place. We were summoned here as well. Who are you, Outlanders? I am Thrall, son of Durotan, war chief of the Horde. And I am Jaina Proudman. Leader of the human survivors of Lordaeron. You are not welcome here. Peace, Priestess. They've come to aid you against the Legion. It was you in my dream. But who are you to make such an offer to us? I am the reason for the Legion's return. Years ago, I brought the orcs into this world. By doing so, I opened a path for the demons as well. For my sins, I was murdered by those who I killed the most. Despite my death, war raged across the lands of the East for many long years. Now, at long last, I have returned to set things right. I am the Deed, the last guardian. I tell you now, the only chance for this world is for you to unite in arms against the enemies of all who live. What? Medivh, the last guardian, was the prophet all this time? Who could have seen that coming? My real question is, uh, where was he earlier? Man, so many human and orc lives could have been saved if, uh, he'd shown up and been like, yo, guys, get along. Anyways, chapter 7, Twilight of the Gods. The next morning, near Hyjal Summit, the night elves, orcs, and humans gather to plan their defense of the mountain. Okay, so this mission is probably either going to take me half an hour or three hours. Let's see. Archimond and his Doom Guard are making their way towards the summit. He'll be here any moment. Ten thousand years ago, we Night Elves defeated the Burning Legion. Though the rest of the world was shattered, we were left free to live out our immortal lives in peace. Bound to the World Tree, we are its protectors, and through it we were granted immortality and power over nature. Now, at last, it is time we gave that power back. You realize that we will age as these mortals do. Our powers over nature will wane in time. If pride gives us pause, my love, then perhaps we have lived long enough already. I will proceed to the summit and prepare our defenses there. Whatever comes, my love, remember, our bond is eternal. <laughs> Time for reckoning has come. If you can provide our bases with support and keep us from being overwhelmed, Thrall and I will delay Archimonde's ascent. Your plan is a bold one, girl. Perhaps I have misjudged you, Outlanders. May a loom shine upon you. To arms, my brother. Okay. 
Dwarves, brave orcs, and humans. Twilight falls, and the enemy awaits. Oh my god. Okay. So like I said, this is either gonna be one attempt or many attempts, I feel. Um, luckily I, I sort of remember what to do. Uh, back on wood. Uh, back on wood. Okay, uh, okay. There's the entrance. There's a tree up there. Some for blokes up there. This is Taranda. The undead have begun to construct a new settlement. It won't be long before they start attacking our allies. Okay, where the heck did Taran go? Okay, there's a healing fountain there. My path uh, is clear. At once. Shadow to the clan. Come on. Of course. Our time is short. Uh, at once. My path is clear. Has he dulled my senses? What threatens these lands? Okay. Anudora. The goddess. Our allies' town. In the name of Sanarius. I am you. The undead are attacking. Send help. My senses. Alright, get you guys down here. Our time. Our support on Let's get going. Oh, Chandra's is here. Cool. Absolutely. I'm listening. I await your command. I await your command. I the voice I'm know. listening. Let's get going. Let's get going. Was there something you wanted? Look, I don't have time for this nonsense. I wonder why I never run out of arrows. I wish my bow was socketed. I'm listening. I await your command. I'm listening. Okay. Um, okay. Where shall I strike? Okay, cool, cool. Uh, the land and I are one. Your building is complete. Your building is Okay, we need... Let's get some defenses. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Our allies town needs help. Uh, Alright, research this I need that. Insufficient gold. Um, Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Insufficient gold. The goddess calls. Oh my god. Someone who is alive. As the goddess wills. Waiting on As you. the goddess wills. Okay. Has Your building is my sense. Your building is I complete. keep the voice of a limb. Research finish. Right. You... Gonna need more yeah. research finish. More oh someone to use the wives. Um. Our allies' town needs help. Our allies' town needs help. I'm zooming out all the way for this. Okay. 
Um, okay, we gotta build... We also got the bird people. Our allies' town needs help. We should probably build some people. I should have thought I might. I hear the voice of a man. For Kalimdor. Hindu and Rebbe. God is like my path. We're gonna make a tree of life. Have engaged the enemy. Over here. The Purely to make wisps. Awakened. Research finished. Research finished. I'm awake. Speaking I'm awake. Goddess, light my path. How much more research, research do I have to do? Here upgraded, I think. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, the great outdoors. Our allies' town needs help. I stand I right. Shall hold on. <laughs> be building. Research insufficient for I hear the voice of a lead. Ah, the By great end. outdoors. Immediately. <laughs> Research finished. Goddess, light my path. Okay, I'm lots of gold, right? Our allies I can't help you your building. Ah, the great outdoors. The goddess. Someone threatens the wild. The land and I are Asha one. Thora, man. Um, I gotta build Stanwells. Goddess, light my path. I am sworn to avenge. Speak your mind. We can't build there. Research finished. Goddess, light my path. Ah, the great outdoors. I heed the voice of a loon. Insufficient gold. Asha Thoraman. The sleeper has awakened. Insufficient gold. The goddess calls. I Our warriors have engaged the enemy. As the goddess wills. 
Insufficient gold. Insufficient gold. Our allies' town needs help. Town needs help. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Goddess, light my path. Ah, the great outdoors. Your building ah, is Ah, the great outdoors. More lumber is required. Goddess, light my path. Ah, the great outdoors. More lumber is required. Ah, the great outdoors. Your building is complete. More lumber is required. Someone tightens the wire. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Our warriors have engaged in our champion has fallen his town needs help. Goddess, light my path. Our An warriors ally have engaged the enemy. Our sacred our grove is being desecrated. Help. Okay, I'm gonna restart just to. That was just a warm up. Um, just to get a feel for it. Our warriors have engaged the enemy.
witness the end, you mortals. The final hour has come. Okay, so this is the final attempt. The attempt where I win and beat the mission. And the campaign. Oh man, this is a doozy of a mission. I actually uh, decided to do a voiceover after the fact rather than uh, recording my voice during the mission just because I was to so arms, focused and wasn't talking arms, anyways. Brave orcs and humans. Um, Twilight falls and the enemy awaits. There's just a... Uh, even like right at the beginning here, there's just so much to do. I gotta send my people everywhere, collect a, the uh, passive units that are just kind of around the map. Uh, I'm setting up groups as well. Uh, the Hippogriff's group three. Uh, bears are group four. Um, I actually, I tried like a lot of different strategies trying to uh, trying to beat this mission. It took many attempts. Um, I, I actually looked online to see uh, what kind of strategies that people suggested. And of course, everybody suggested like different things. Like some people would be like, "Oh, just have a ton of bears and archers," and um, others were like, "Oh, just make all dryads." And other people were like, "Oh, hippogriffs." Um, in the end, I went with the uh, hippogriff route, uh, the hippogriff archer route. Um, mixed with some dryads uh, for the D spells mainly. So there I am setting up the base, setting up a uh, armor. I, I sent uh, the big uh, tower equivalent trees. I can't remember they're called protectors. I guess uh, have Malf pick up some goblin landmines. I'm just trying to figure out like how to sell st like because apparently you can like sell items, but I don't really know how. I, I, I gave up and just sent him down. These first few waves aren't too bad. Um, nice and easy. Uh, so the bears, I, I tried to. Uh, I decided not to like actually upgrade them. I only use them for the roar, and then I just kind of keep them in the back. Um, yeah, sending some wisps down to create units. Sending uh, these guys back. I heed the voice is a miss. So Malfurion's uh, tranquility is pretty short cooldown. You can actually use it basically every wave. Tyran's uh, ability is much longer cooldown. I'm not. I, I never actually figured out how long it was, but I think it's like three to five minutes or something. Um. So yeah, just checking on things. Setting up. Setting up talents. One thing I learned from trying to like look up YouTube videos and stuff how to do this mission is that uh, Melfrian's entangling roots is actually very useful at like just slowing down a big mob or getting it out of the way for a time being. Okay, so here comes the big trees. Uh, researching the dryad stuff and the archer stuff. There go uh, entangling roots, rooting uh, some mobs, keep them out of the battle for a little bit. And then putting the trees in their place so they can be useful. I find that the range on the um, ancient protectors isn't actually very big, so you kind of want them close to the uh, where you're fighting. Our time is now. I heed the voice of Elune. Yeah, first few waves aren't too bad, um, but then like it ramps up, and if you can't keep up, then it's not good. Um, I did watch some videos where uh, they managed to hold off the uh, Burning Legion and Scourge in the human base. I decided like not to try that. Like I'd hold them off as long as I could, but uh, I I just I'm not like good enough to. Uh, hold him off for the entire 45 minutes. So, it, so here come uh, the harder mobs, dreadlords, and uh, the hounds. Uh, so as you can see, I, I get the bear to like buff everybody, then I just keep him in the back so he doesn't die because the bears cost a lot. Uh, trying to get the wisps. 
Yeah, I'm just messing up stuff. I did try to uh, learn the proper keybinds, but then I just, I just kind of like forgot to do it. So I went back to just like manually selecting things and uh, clicking. I'm a clicker. Yeah, it's. Where shall I strike? What threatens these lads? So sending the bear back to the group. Someone threatens the wild. So that uh, he can buff him next time. Yeah, it's just constant, constantly doing things. So there, I'm setting up a ancient of the wind. So to get the uh, hippogriff riders going. And it co you're constantly low in gold. You're constantly, um. Has someone dulled my senses? Oh yeah, here comes the first uh, lich. So I, I have Malfurion just in the front to try and like tank him for a bit. That's another thing I uh, read online is that Malfurion's actually like pretty tanky. Like you want him uh, to uh, be taking most of the damage. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the uh, Hippogriff Riders safe. The, uh, your allies aren't super useful, I found. Uh, Jaina's base isn't... She, she doesn't like build units too much. Sometimes she'll have some priests and they'll like heal your people and that's useful. Um, but it's, it's mostly up to you. See, so yeah, I set the uh, rally point to the ch champion, so either Tyrandal Malfurion, just uh, just just because it's better that way. I found because I used to like stick them in a stick the rally point in a location, but it was never like the right location. Like either they'd be too close to the combat and get in trouble before I realized it or else they'd be too far away and not helping so I have them just go to the uh, champions um, the hippogriffs take quite a while to pop out I think it's like for every two archers you can get one hippogriff out the goddess calls I stand ready now we're in, now we're in high upkeep. Uh, there's no, there's no real helping. Uh, you, you're basically in high upkeep the entire mission. Um, yeah, the ancient protectors end up dying a lot, but uh, for now they're fine. I'm not actually sure what happened to the. Uh, I think I had a fourth agent protector. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, the so there's my first hippogriff. Uh, I think I'm looking. I'm not really sure. I think I'm looking for a archer to stick on it. But since I rally, I put the rally point on Tyrand, they've all run off. Or Tyranda, as she's actually called. There we go. So I'm to the hippogriff group. Send them in. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Uh, get some more dryads for de spills. The land and I are one. I hate the voice of the the And uh, I think my champions are at a level ten now. They're about. I stand ready. I think I. I stand ready. I think I briefly thought about repairing the ancient protector, but then decided not to. Another thing I learned after my many attempts is to build new ancient protectors like way back there, and and then have them move into place rather than building them in the place I want them because they're very vulnerable. Uh, like there's just no time to like build them while getting hit by the waves, and then they they'll just die before they get to do anything. So better to build them in the back and then uh, move them in. Mouth to use a saying, getting Tyrant to use her thing of all the frost ones. Lots of people dying. Chandra's uh, survived for quite a while in this attempt, actually. I think she's about to die now, though. Usually she dies like immediately. 
Um, making sure the uh, insufficient coal. Got, always got to keep building. We're actually nearly at the food cap. I do run into the food cap quite a bit. Uh, the hippogriff army is coming along nicely, though. Almost got half a group there. Um, trying to get more upgrades. I, I never know whether to upgrade armor or uh, attack first. And then there's, there's me thinking about upgrading bears, but I never end up using bears for anything other than the roar. So I'm kind of gathering everybody around so they get hit, they get hit by it. Waiting for the next wave. Your building is So I'm waiting for the waves that I can uh, kind of handle, like the wisps. So you, usually I just have them on wood, just temporarily. Like, I mean, I do need like a lot of wood. Um. Yeah, I think I, I'm trying to. I think I'm considering building another unit producing building, but in the end I just make more protectors. And I always try to get- I always try to have, like, a unit producing building going as much as I can, even though I'm, like, always out of gold or at food cap. So I'm sending Melfrey now just to try and, like, slow one down. I get the bear to roar. I have Melfrey in a tank, cast tranquility. I'm trying to get a, this guy down. He summons the infernals. One of my attempts, one of the infernals landed on that little cliffside, like uh, outside the wall, and just got stuck there. Which is very handy, but I did lose that mission, so <laughs> it ended up being for nothing. Um, yeah, while they fight, I'm just like doing other things. Because at this point, like. Oh, well, I'm, not, I'm not very good at micromanaging anyways, so I usually just kind of let them choose their target themselves. Also, from the looks of it, Chandra's is still alive. That's neat. Can't remember how long she survives. It's, it's quite a bit longer than usual. So be it. Your move. Fair enough. The goddess calls. As the goddess wills. Yeah, just fixing the groups. On you. Well, one thing I, I found was that uh, when you have the units rallying to the champion, it's very easy to lose them in the group. And then sometimes I'll, I'll think like, oh, I have no units because my group is nearly empty, but really I have like seven units around me. I just forgot to put them in the group. So I'm just uh, rooting the uh, thing. So one reason I decided to use Hippogriff Riders and Dryads is because uh, they're immune to the possession that the uh, Braves have. Like the Dryads can't be possessed because they're Dryads and they're immune to magic and the Hippogriffs are in the air which apparently makes them immune. So as you can see one of my... Uh, one shot, one kill. I had a unit there get a possessed. Making more wisps, making more hippogriff riders. Um, checking for upgrades, I think. I've got another hippogriff out. Let's see if I Someone remember to. Our time is now. Uh, the yeah, there we go. Uh, building my groups. Hippogriff group Research. coming along nicely. And I'm sending them over to the human... Because uh, the human priest will uh, heal them. Ah, uh, the great outdoors. <laughs> So yeah, I'm at uh, max food. Hold on. So I can't produce anymore, but I got a decent army here. Someone the wires. 
Something is amiss. Also, maybe you've noticed, uh, I don't notice for a little while longer, but I actually have four units I'm not using. It's the, uh, I think, the three fur bogs plus an archer taking up the food cap, and I, I completely forgot about them. You can kind of see I'm kind of in the middle uh, right Asher of the map. Bottom. Waiting on you. Waiting on you. The little Our white dots. I, I eventually notice them, but not for a while. I know Dora. So we end up having an elf tank, casting tranquility, then sending in the hip riders. It's quite the wave. We got um uh Haskeller, I think it is. The pet lord coming in. The uh necromancers are kinda of dangerous too, so we'll revive your people. As with Galore is quite a pain because he'll uh, resurrect. You actually gotta kill him twice. And he has like stuns and stuff. And I, I think I'm trying to kill the uh, Necromancers right now to reduce the skeletons. I'm uh, moving Tyrande out just to uh, get some breathing space because she's at half health. Um, yeah, I think. Lots of people dying, but hippogriffs. This is why the hippogriffs are pretty handy. Of course, all of them are hexed or cursed right now. Yeah, you guys may be missing, but you're still doing work. So I'm just uh, waiting for Haskellor to resurrect while I do those. Making more grove protectors. One thing I did in past uh, past attempts was uh, make lots of grove protectors, but I found that like investing in units tends to be better than grove protectors. Let's get going. I think the issue is like the meat wagons have a longer range than uh, the grove protectors, so they end up being taken out by the meat wagons before they can really do anything. I'm listening. Let's get going. Let's get going. I was clicking on Chandra's for a bit because I'm feeling confident. Ah, the great outdoors. I think I'm making a bear just for the roar I again. Because I think I lost Our my other one. Town needs help. They got us. Yeah, we got a... Got the next wave of the infernals. I to use Toran's uh, ability. One thing you may have noticed as well is I've forgotten to use the uh, landmines. I was actually waiting for uh, an infernal wave to use them, but I wasn't paying attention, so it hit me before I could do anything with it. These infernals are pain. But he's dead. That's good. Sending the Baron to buff him. Our allies town and then uh, bring in the uh, protectors. Y usually after a, uh, a big wave there's a little bit of reprieve. Well especially the uh, waves of Asgore there's usually like a, a little bit more time between waves after that one. The mission isn't completely unfair to you. The great outdoors. Make Master some more archers. These lands. One thing I'm going to mention now is that uh, I do skip the uh, cutscenes in this. However, I will uh, splice them in in editing, so you can see the uh, what happens when the human and orc ready. base fall. Because uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't hold them back in the human base, and I don't hold them back. 
in the orc base. It ends up being a uh, final fight by the night orc base. This is quite a big wave here. I think at some point I'm like, okay, this is too much, and then I retreat. Can't remember if it's this wave or not. Because we got the Lich and House Galur. Oh yeah, I'm sending the uh, hip first back. Yeah, I think this is the wave where I retreat. So my plan for retreating... I don't know why I was like, oh, I'm gonna make some more minions. No mouth. Run away. No. Oh, his mouth died. Yeah. Okay, so now we're falling back to the uh, orc base. I held him off for like uh, a bit over like 17 minutes. That, that's a decent chunk. That's like a third of the time. Okay, so one of the benefits of night elves is that you can move their unit producing buildings. So that's what I'm doing now. While they're busy, while the burning legion is busy destroying the human buildings, I'm uh, sending my buildings up to the uh, orc base. For some reason I didn't like move the uh, the ancient of war right away. I, I do eventually do Our that though. Being yeah luck luckily the uh, scourge didn't notice Our my big ancient of war there. I hate the voice of the You are very brave to stand against me, little human. If only your countrymen had been as bold, I would have had more fun scouring your wretched nations from the world. Is talking all you demons do? Stormbreak, show yourself! Or do you intend to have mortal girls do all your fighting for you? Our allies town needs help. Okay, so like I said, I'll, I'll splice the uh, actual cutscene in. I skipped it in this attempt. They are mustering new forces to send at us. Um, sending the wisps. One thing I gotta remember to do is change the rally point for the wisps because I, I think it's set to an actual location. So if I don't change it in time, the wisps are gonna get sent to their death. I usually just put it on like a tree, just to. Our allies tell sometimes I don't have like a, a plan for the wisps quite yet. I just uh, want them out there for when I need them. So there we go, uh, setting up the. Research finish. Those ancients, oh, they're so slow. Making more dryads because I really need more units because they will come for me again pretty soon. They give you a decent amount of time to uh, set up your defenses in the next base, and usually the first few waves are easy waves like they were at the beginning of the mission. I think I, I'm considering uh, getting stuff for the other. Uh, getting research for the other units, but I don't end up doing that, I don't think. Ah, the great outdoors. Making nice more dryads. Our time is now. Hold on. So yeah, they're coming. The ghouls are Keep coming. Skies. The goddess calls your name. Research to the skies. I stand ready. Your built wings. I think I'm looking because if there's no spiders, I was thinking of just sending the hippogriffs in to uh, land and I are one. get them. But uh, the great outdoors. I think there are spiders, so I decide to, to wait. The goddess calls. Are we being invaded? Our time is now. Your building is complete. No, I do make a couple huntresses, I guess. Oh no, I don't. I decide not to. 
Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Someone I hit it kind of so it's, Yeah, that's one of the reasons why uh, it's better to make the ancient protectors in the back. They, they take too long to build between waves, and then you just it's just a waste of resources. I'm not very good at, like, cancelling. I'm not very good at cancelling the, them in time to not waste resources. There we go, more archers. Take wing. Ashrathorama. Immediately. Yep, just building up. I stand ready. Oh yeah, I decided to make some moon wells there. Our time is now to help heal up. On your mark. Done. Research finished. Insufficient gold. Off your move. Yeah, now I'm just waiting for the next wave. Well, Once again, it's another easy wave. Dulled my senses. Easy ish. I think there I might be some meat wagons. Our time is now. The goddess calls. I nearly got a full group there. Ashra Thoraman. I heed the voice. A full group of hip groups, that is. Oh yeah, I think <laughs> this is where I finally noticed that group. <laughs> that that's been sitting there the whole time, taking up the my food calls. resources. Ashra Thoraman. The land and I are one. They're like those uh, people in battlegrounds that just AFK. Okay, so I'm It's just one meat wagon. Um, I think, yeah. So I start making more ancient protectors. But once again, I, I bailed them in the back and then I move them into place. Because, uh. Because otherwise they get destroyed before they can be used. Making more dryads. Like I said, the dryads are um, handy at dispelling. So yeah, now, now we got a much harder unit. I think was it at this point I remember to use the landmines. I can't quite remember. It shall oh yeah, be there done. we go. For Kalimdor, Ashterodanador. I'm not really sure what the optimal placement of them is. I just put them in a line and hope for the best. So rooting one, slow it down. Yeah, oh, come on. Walk right over that. I think there must be like a arming period. And also they don't one shot the abominations. However, they do soften them up quite a bit. I always feel the Dreadlords are putting in most of the work. And then, like, they never get the uh, respect they deserve from their bosses. Oh, yeah, Ch Chandra's died at some point. I think I, think I must have lost Chandra's uh, with the human base fell. Cause that's when everybody else died. Oh, Rest in peace, Chandris. Right, that's another thing I learned from watching videos is that you can hit sleeping units and they'll uh, wake up. I think that's the literally the only time I ever do that though. Someone threatens the wires. Nearly done with the upgrades. Someone threatens the wires. Our time is ah, now. the great outdoors. Ashra Thorama. Is there trouble? I hear the voice of Elune. Oh, here comes the next wave. Oh, yeah, 
the necromancers would be a bit of a problem. They're slightly resistant to uh, piercing damage too, but uh, they have low health. So yeah, I decided to use the uh, Starfall. Uh, at this point I'm like, okay, I should probably bring in the uh, Ancient Protectors. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. So I'm holding out pretty well. I only, like I said, in past uh, attempts I'd make like a whole bunch of ancient protectors, but I found it just wasn't really uh, worth it. Anyways, I'm going back to the merchant to get some more goblin landmines that I'll forget to use, of course. I'm also just checking his items. Apparently there's a way of like selling items, but I, I I didn't figure it out. I think you're supposed to just drag the item to the uh, shop. Research finish. Okay, so I got my ancient protectors in place. I'm at fully capped on food. Waiting on you. Hold on. You are new. Sending in one of the hippogriff riders to heal up a bit. Take wing. I'm uh sending him back to you know, yeah, I'm like you know, getting the final upgrades. I think I yeah, I send the hippogriffar back so I wanna like flank them. I heed the voice. So sending these guys in and then I want the uh, meat wagons dead because the meat wagons are like the anti niche protector units. Um, and yeah, there there are two. It isn't like a ch complete choke point. There's like two ways up into the orc base, but usually I just let Thrall and the rest of the orcs deal with uh, anybody that goes up that side because the majority of the forces usually come up. Uh, this stretch. Our allies town needs help. Making more group riders. I stand ready. The goddess calls. Making Our more wisps. To the skies. The land and I are one. They're coming Someone off a big air, uh, lots of air units. I stand ready. For Kalimdor. I heed the voice As sleep dulled my senses. Someone to these lands. I'm not really sure what I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> but, uh, I think I'm just I thinking of strategies and stuff. Went the way. You are me. Our time is... Getting away. that last hip of rider as they approach. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Once again, I'm just ignoring the uh, group in the uh, group in the south. I'm hoping uh Rawl can deal with uh, any anybody that goes that way. Killing the Mii Wagon first. And then, yeah, I think I'm making more ancient protectors. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Our time has shifted. As the goddess wins. So I need the group back, making more dryads. That's how it goes. You just gotta replenish as best you can between the waves. Someone threatens the wilds. Research finished. Your move. <laughs> Hi! 
waiting on you. What threatens these lands? It shall be done. For I mean, as time goes on, the waves get uh, harder and harder. Ah, it shall the be there we go. Uh, putting uh, more mines down. I know just just to soften up him. the abominations. Ah, the Our great times. outdoors. Just it's hitting the uh, 17 minute mark here. Looking good so far. Waiting on you. Take wing. Someone could use the right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sending the hippogriff riders around because I plan to flank them from the rear. Our time is now. Because uh, man, uh, the there's sure animals. sure a lot of uh, <laughs> necromancers. Dulled my senses. And I really don't want. The necromancers making billion skeletons. So by sending the hippogriff riders in the back, I really uh, distract them. I may lose a few hippogriff riders, but I think it was worth it because it keeps the um, necromancers away from the rest of the corpses over by uh, Malfurion. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Yeah, at this point, I'm like, okay, I should probably heal him up a bit. As sleep dulled my senses. Our time is near. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. I'm getting the dryads to uh, dispel him a bit. I heed the voice of Elune. Anudora! I stand ready. The goddess calls. Your name. Mm. Hold on. To the skies. Waiting on you. Someone on time. I wanted to send them up to the fountain, but uh, the next wave arrived. So I used both the uh, main abilities. Wagons. Luckily, Taran is tanking them. I think I lost all my dryads, though. So well, minus one. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Making my dryads. The skies. And at this point, I'm like, okay, Something I should probably heal up the hippogriffs. It shall be done. So I'm heading back to get some more landmines, but Asgalor is in the next wave. Ashterodanador. Has sleep dulled my senses? Anudora. One thing I forgot to use Melfiran was a uh, he has an item that summons uh, for bolts for like. Three minutes, I think it is. I, sh I should have really used the item because then I could have gotten more landmines. So the hippogriff call? riders Someone are healed up, wife. so I'm sending them back. By what threatens these lands? Oh, here they come. Anudora. For Kalimdor. It shall be done. I heed the voice of Elune. The mines do take a little while to arm. Ah, the great outdoor. Our allies' town is held. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. So yeah, Hippogriff Riders running distraction in the back. Oh, 
all helping out. As you can see, Asbler is uh, gone the southern route, but that's fine. No, I can't hold this base forever. I'm just stalling for time. Our warriors have So I find it weird it's called the Orcish Horde, even though there's trolls and Torin. Well, maybe not Torin. Is Karen even in this mission? I don't think he is. I wonder why not. To the skies. Oh yeah, still alive. And you can kind of see on the mini map, like the next wave is already preparing. It's just constant. Oh, I'm trying to get Melfir and his mana back. Yeah, next wave is coming. Ah, the great outdoor. Waiting on you. Something is amiss. Your move. All too easy. Sending the hippogriff riders to go uh flank him. Getting some more mines. Ashrathoraman. Waiting on you. Our time is now. Ashrathoraman. The goddess calls. Yeah, half my droids are ah, nearly dead. Outdoors. Our time is now. Oh, it's a Hold big on. wave. Our warriors have engaged. Flank him. Flank him from the back. I keep your voice. He's a Tehran thingy. Trying to take out the uh, necromancers. It helps to distract the meat wagons too. Going for the meat wagons next. Meanwhile, um. Yeah, they're getting destroyed. And by them, I mean both of us. My non hippogriffs are getting destroyed, and then their meat wagons are getting destroyed. Oh, yeah, at this point, I'm like, oh, yeah, I should probably use those landmines. <laughs> of course, they, they take, like, quite a bit to uh, harm themselves. I think I'm about to lose my friend. back up. I can't- I, I know it pretty soon I retreat. I can't remember if it's this wave or if it's like the next wave. Let's just try it. I think I'm trying to decide what to do. Insufficient gold. Waiting on you. I stand ready. To the skies. The goddess calls. So be it. I heed the voice of Elune. Yeah, this is As where I, uh, I'm like, no, I can't fight off the next wave. I'm gonna have to just retreat. Those fell hunters are pretty annoying. Yep. I think I uh, call it for this base. I stand ready. And go on the retreat. Ah, the great outdoors. And yeah, this is why it's useful to put that rally point on the champion, so when you suddenly have to move locations, you get new recruits aren't sent to their deaths. I 
Can I? Yeah, I'm not gonna try and save those ancients. They're uh. Our time is now. Our allies are still going. Being desecrated. Your name. So we got nine minutes left. Uh, not much of a defense. <laughs> but like, like I said, uh. Ah, oh, cuts. The orcs are weak and hardly worth the effort. I wonder why Manoroth even bothered with you. Our spirit is stronger than you know, demon. If we are to fall, then so be it. At least now, we are free. You actually hurt me. <laughs> are there none left to stand against the Legion? This is almost too easy. If I had known that this mortal resistance would be so weak, I would have launched this invasion centuries ago. Our allies' town needs help. Okay, another annoying thing is it always zooms in the camera right after cutscene. Oh, oh shit! What was, what was I about to say? Uh. I forgot. Oh yeah. I'm like, oh, maybe I should try and save that one, and then Archimon comes along moment. and just, just kills him. Oh. I'm, I'm just spreading the taint everywhere by having Archimon follow it. To the skies. Okay, well, I got all my hippogriffs back. That's why it's sometimes useful just to retreat early so you have time to recover. Our time. Our allies' town needs help. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just I'm just putting some ancient protectors up, you know, just in case. Cause I, I know I'll eventually just kind of run out of units. Oh yeah, I think I remember what I was gonna say. Um, yeah, cause like every time they take a base, it like it delays the waves by like a minute or two, and then like the first few waves are easy waves. Oh, <laughs> that poor orc peon. Um, so it's actually kind of a stall for time tactic to uh. I stand ready. Retreat. What threatens these Our allies? allies' town Hold needs on. help. Waiting on you. To the skies, Has the goddess calls. dulled my senses? Ah, the great outdoors. I think I'm trying to, like, consider what to do. Because uh, just having mainly is. units was a very handy as a defense compared to like a bunch of ancient protectors. So, I think I still do make a bunch of ancient protectors just in and around the base. Okay, I'm considering uh, re ejecting some of the wisps from the uh, mines Waiting on you. to uh, build into ancient protectors because they do go for that mine after a while. But in the end I decide they're more, more useful getting gold while they can. Our allies' town needs help. How dare you! I think I should have a dog. Random spider. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, they're going for that mine now. But it's a good distraction. Oh yeah, I did make a bear. I forgot about that. I think I forgot to use them. And I think I was thinking of sending the hippogriffs to uh, save that one base, but in the end I didn't. It is a sacrifice. I only got to survive for six and a half more minutes. Our time is short. Oh yeah, there's the bear. Our sacred more grove is being desecrated. Something is amiss. I'm awake. I'm awake. Of course. Someone's burned the bear. I think I just, <laughs> I just noticed. That I think the dryads are also immune to roar. 
I, d I don't. I didn't realize that during the mission. That makes sense because we're immune to magic, and I guess that includes positive magic too. Oh yeah, the, here goes the bear, getting in, punching people. He's probably gonna die. No. Oh. See, I'm about to lose uh, two Our mines. Grove is being desecrated. So I'm like, you just build a bunch of trees. But literally just stalling at this point. I stand Our sacred grove is being desecrated. I think I could get the wisp to blow up, but uh. In the end, I was like, uh, just see if I can get Our one to escape. But it was not to be. One shot, one kill. Just a random tool whacking on my moon well. The uh, wisps actually. Oh, yeah, I think I paused here. I think, I think I paused here to either let my cat in or the cat out of the room. But uh, as I was saying, the wisps actually take up quite a bit of the food cap. To the skies, I heed the voice. Because I think I have like 15 wisps. Because there's like three the mines, and then plus the ones wall. getting wood. Someone so it's, it's probably like I, I don't know, like 20 ish food. Probably not that much, but like it's quite a chunk. It's like probably a quarter of the food is being taken up by wisps. Once someone threatens the wild, you are me. Unfortunately, at this part, I'm uh, huh. waiting on you. I don't really have Our the gold to uh, take advantage of the food cap. Oh. I'm awake. I'm awake. But yeah, we haven't been uh, take wing. The goddess got four minutes left, me. waiting on the next wave. I'm awake. I'm awake. Our time is now. I think the next wave is formed. I can see it on the mini map. Okay, so we've got a bunch of buildings formed. Your building is complete. more moon wells. Oh yeah, and this is where I realized like, oh I need more moon wells, because uh one of my moon wells got destroyed at some point. So I put it up there. Another strategy um I read about was just to make like buildings in random locations. Cause it you only lose like once all your buildings are gone. So you just make a moon wall or something in the middle of nowhere, then uh... Then it kind of delays the end. And it could just- it could be all you need. Not sure what the lich is doing. It's just sitting there. Of course I got a bear sitting in the corner not doing anything either. Oh, there we go. I remembered about him. I'm yeah, finally desert. remembering Malfurion has a <laughs> landmine. Um, one I thing I forgot to them. use was there's like crates around the base. There's actually like a book of health in one of the crates and like some scrolls. So I put the uh, I know Dora. put the thing there. There's like a whole bunch of necromancers. <laughs> That's a uh, I, I kind of go from the back. If there's no um, spiders, they're pretty vulnerable. The, the necromancers themselves don't hit very hard, and then of course, nothing else can uh, really damage them. Blood from the lich. Oh, somebody died, so. Here comes the skilly boys. I'm trying to huddle around the pound of health just to delay that much more. Yeah, bear guard is raw off before uh, succumbing. Use your thing to rant. 
just chaos here. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. I'm just hoping we're winning. Oh, two minutes left. But they got Tarand. But... I think at that point I'm. I know I'm victorious because they don't have enough time to uh, destroy my base. And yeah, I don't have enough gold for uh, Tehran. Tyrande. The last stand by the Fountain of Life. It's actually a really good spot to uh, tank them. Oh yeah, I was like, oh yeah, Malfurion can summon Treants. I should use that. I don't have to defeat them. I just have to survive long enough. But yeah, this location is actually a really good place to hold out because you got the fountain um, to kind of heal you up and then uh, uh, both paths kind of aggro onto it if you're there. So I, I don't even have to worry about uh, guarding like the southern path and the western path because they all pass by the fountain. And there's no fear in to go down but at this point we've won. And uh, at this point, I'm like, okay, uh, I can't make any more units, but I'm, I'm just making like moon wells in random places just to just in Our case. Because, like I said, uh, as long as you have a building, um, you haven't lost. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Our warriors have engaged in this But uh, it's unnecessary. I've already won. I'm just making moonlights. Insufficient gold. Get back in the mine. We desecrated. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And yeah, that's it. That's victory. That only took me like a dozen tries. victory here has made him overconfident. He will not see the trap that I laid for him until it is too late. At last, the way to the world tree is clear. Witness the end, you mortals. The final hour has come. The Outlanders held him back as long as they could. Were you successful in planning the summit's defense? Yes. Now our victory is assured.
Just as the orcs, humans, and night elves discarded their old hatreds and stood united against a common foe, so did nature herself rise up to banish the shadow forever. As for me, I came back to ensure that there would be a future, to teach the world that it no longer needed guardians. The hope for future generations has always resided in mortal hands. And now that my task is done, I will take my place amongst the legends of the past. Well, nice to see that the uh, cutscenes are still bugged. Plays the zone music throughout the cutscene for some reason. Uh, so next campaign is, well, th the Frozen Throne campaigns, which I will get to after my vacation that I'm taking next week. Actually, I've already had it because I the way I scheduled these videos. Um, Anyways, thanks for watching and see you then.